Hi guys, I just came out from swimming again, so I probably look bad. Sorry about all this. Um, I came in because um, I'm going to teach a little Indian girl about her heritage because they've displaced Indians so much. And uh, she's from the Sayagla Nation and she knows nothing about except what she's been taught in school. So this is going to be fun, but that's not why you're here. I'm going to read something that I, a very nice person sent me. Um, in, a, in a PM. So let's get to it. Okay, hold on. I found this very strange. Let me get this set up right. Um, HSBC, and, and, and remember this is in the UK, in Britain, uh, has asked foreign diplomats to close, diplomats, excuse me, to close accounts. The H SBC has asked for foreign diplomats in London to close their accounts as a part of efforts to reduce business risk. Among those who have been asked to stop using the UK's biggest banks are the Vatican, Papua New Guinea, and the West African nation of Benin. More than 40 embassies, consulates, and high commission, commissions are said to be affected with their position made worse by other banks' refusal to take their custom. The decision is reported to have created havoc for those diplomatic missions, according to one official. He told the Mail on Sunday that the consulates need a bank, not just to take in money for visas and passports, but to pay off staff wages, rent bills, and even the congestion charge. Following the fines by the U.S. authorities for allowing alleged money laundering activities last year, the bank has announced that the embassies will were subject to certain safety as, as assessments similar to other business customers. A spokesman for the bank said HSBC has been applying a rolling program of five filters assessment to all its businesses since May 2011 and our service for embassies are no exception. The criteria needed to be satisfied are in international connectivity, economic development, profitability and cost efficiency and liquid liquidity. Now I'm going to let you read the rest of this but you got to understand they're closing down what? Are they not closing down embassies across um, the nation right now? I mean across the um, the Muslim worlds and in India and, and some other places in Africa and stuff and now they're they're not going to help their foreign diplomats they they just kind of are going to cut them off this this is i don't know tell me what you think i find this bizarre to say the least and i'd like to thank my friend for sending this to me um i'm going to leave this link below and please guys tell me what you think about this are we about to have a collapse um i mean i would like to if we're going to have a monetary collapse collapse I would also like to see a collapse of the empires and let us rebuild because I think we can do it I really do um, when I have people that I didn't even know you know young Indian children watching from around here watching my um, my videos I'm, I'm actually so humbled right now that you know I, I've got to explain the basics about how Native Americans believe um, and what it is is people are tired of this empire system and she probably doesn't even realize that that's what she's in She's very young. However, this empire system has brought us all to question things even the things in our hearts So everybody unite. Let's stop all this feuding. I know there's a lot of feuding on um, on YouTube right now um, I'm just choosing to not get involved in that. I love everybody Peace, love, and truth to everyone. And tell me what you think about this closing the accounts. You know, right after they said the embassies are going to be closed, are these people going to have money to travel home? I mean, these are questions I have. Are they just going to leave them out there and let it be like another Benghazi? Um, so we have to, you know, question some of these things. So please leave your comments in, the, you know, below and let's try to discuss this. And I am out. And everybody have a nice day too. And you know I love you.